the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Blessed is your God, always, now, and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. In your name, O Lord, God of truth, in the name of your only begotten Son, and your Holy Spirit, I lay my hand upon this, your servant, the Lord of Amen. The Ewanis, John, who has become worthy of your holy name, and to be sheltered in the shadow of your wings, remove far from him the ancient error, and fill him with faith, hope, and love that is in you, that he may know that you alone are the true God, and your only begotten Son, of Lord Jesus Christ, and your Holy Spirit. Grant him to walk in your commandments, and to observe those things that are accepted before you. For if a man does such, he shall find life in him. Inscribe him in your book of life, and unite him to the flock of your inheritance. Let your holy name be glorified in him, and that of your well-beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, and of your life in spirit. Let your eyes look over him in mercy, and your ears be ever attentive unto the voice of his prayer. But remember, rejoice in the works of his hands and in all the generations. That he may give thanks to you, worshiping and glorifying your great and most high name. Never praise you all the days of life. Powers of heaven praise you and yours in glory of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and forever in the ages of ages. Amen. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. The Lord rebukes you, O devil, he that came into the world and made his dwelling among men, that he might cast down your tyranny and deliver men. He that upon the tree triumphed over the opposing powers while the sun was darkened and the earth was shaking. And the tombs were opened, and the bodies of the saints arose. He that by death destroyed death, and overcame him that held the might of death, that is even you, O devil. I abjure you by the living God, who has shown forth the tree of life, and posted the cherubim and the flaming sword, sword that turns about to guard this. Be rebuked and depart, for I forbid you, through him that walks on the waves of the sea, as upon the dry land, who forbade the storms of the winds, whose glance dries up the deep, whose threatenings melt the mountains. For it is he himself that now forbids you through us. Be afraid and depart and absent yourself from this creature. Come not back, neither hide yourself in him, nor encounter him, nor influence him, either by night or by day, nor in the morning or at noon. But get you hence to your own Tartarus until the appointed day of judgment. Fear God, who sits on the throne of the cherubim and looks upon the depths. Before whom tremble angels, archangels, thrones, principalities, authorities, powers, the many-eyed cherubim and the six-winged seraphim, whom heaven and earth fear, the sea and all that live therein. Come forth and depart from the seal, the newly enlisted soldier of Christ our God. For I abjure you by him that rides upon the wings of the winds, who makes his angels spirits and his ministers a flame of fire. Come forth from this creature which he fashioned, to depart with all your power and might. For glorified is the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. God, the holy, the awesome, and the glorious. Who concerning all his works and strength is incomprehensible and unsearchable, who himself is ordained for you, devil, the retribution of eternal torment through us, his unworthy servants, command you and your all cooperating light to go forth from him that is newly sealed in the name of our Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ. Therefore, your all evil and clean of Donald Lowe's and alien spirit, I endure you by the power of Jesus Christ, who has all authority in heaven and on earth. Who says to the deaf and dumb demon, Get out of the man and enter no more into him? Depart no the vainness of your might, which hath not power even over the swine. Remember him who bade you at your own request, went into the herd of swine. Fear God, whose command the earth was established upon the waters, who has found the heavens and fixed the mountains with the lines and the valleys with a measure, who has placed the sand for boundary into the sea and made safe paths through the waters, who touched the mountains and they smoked, who clothed himself with light as with a garment. Who has stretched out the heavens as with a curtain, who offers his upper ropes with the waters, who has found the earth under firm foundations, so that it shall not be moved forever, who calls upon the waters of the seas and sprinkles upon the face of the earth, come out and depart from him, who is now being made ready for holy illumination. I abjure you by the saving passion of our Lord Jesus Christ, by his precious blood and all of your body, 
and his awesome coming again. For he shall come and not tarry to judge all the earth, and shall punish you in Korah, for he might in the Gehenna fire, consent near to the outer darkness of worms, that is not the fire, is not quenched. For Christ is the might, the Father, and the Holy Spirit, now and ever into the ages of ages. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Lord of Sabaoth, the God of Israel, who heals every sickness and every wound, look down upon this your servant John. Search out and try him, driving away from him every operation of the devil. Rebuke the unclean spirits and expel them, cleansing the work of your hands. And using your trenchant energy, beat down Satan under his feet, giving him victory over him and over his unclean spirits, so that, obtaining the mercy that comes from you, he may be accounted worthy of your immortal and heavenly mysteries, and may send up all glory to you, to Father, and to Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Let us pray to the Lord. Have mercy. You, the existing sovereign master and Lord, who made man after your own image and likeness and gave to him power of eternal life, and when he had fallen through sin, did not disdain him, but did provide for him through the incarnation of your Christ the salvation of the world, redeeming this your creation from the yoke of the enemy, receive him into your heavenly kingdom, open the eyes of his understanding so that the illumination of your gospel may dawn upon him, yoke into his life a shining angel. To deliver him from any plot directed against him by the adversary, from encounter with evil, from the noonday demon, from evil dreams. Drive out from him every evil, unclean spirit, hiding and lurking in his heart. Amen. Drive out from him every evil, unclean spirit, hiding and lurking in his heart. Amen. Drive out from him every evil and unclean spirit, hiding and lurking in his heart. The spirit of error, the spirit of evil, the spirit of idolatry, and of all covetousness that works according to the teaching of the devil. Make him a reason endowed sheep of the holy flock of your Christ and an honorable member of your church, a hallowed vessel, a child of light and air of your kingdom. That having ordered his life according to your commandments and having guarded the seal and kept it unbroken, having preserved his garment undefiled, he maintained under the blessedness of the saints of your kingdom. The grace, compassion, philanthropic love, your only begotten Son, with whom you are blessed, together with your own holy, good, and life creating spirit, now and forever, the ages of ages. Do you renounce Satan and all his works and all his worship and all his angels and all his pomp? Did you renounce it? I do renounce it. Do you renounce Satan and all his works and all his worship and all his angels and all his pomp? I do, do renounce it. Do you renounce Satan and all his works and all his worship and all his angels and all his pomp? I do renounce it. Have you renounced Satan? I have renounced him. I have renounced him. Have you renounced Satan? I have renounced him. Have you renounced Satan? I have renounced him. Then blow and spit upon him. Do you join Christ? I do join Christ. Do you join Christ? I do join Christ. Do you join Christ? I do join Christ. Have you joined Christ? I joined him. I have joined him. Have you joined Christ? I have joined him. Have you joined Christ? I have joined him. Do you believe in him? I believe in him. As king, as king, as king and as God. And as God.
according to the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. And he will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead. His kingdom shall have no end. And in the Holy Spirit, the Lord the Creator of life, who proceeds from the Father, who together with the Father and the Son was worshipped and glorified, who spoke with the prophets. And one and holy God, the church, they can confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and look for the resurrection of the dead, and the life of the ancients to come. Amen. Have you joined Christ? I have joined him. Have you joined Christ? Have you joined Christ? I have joined him. Have you joined Christ? I have joined him. Then bow before him and worship him. I bow down before the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, Trinity, one in essence, and I invite it. Blessed is God who desires that all people should be saved and come to the knowledge of the truth, always now and forever to the ages of ages. Amen. Let us pray to the Lord. Sacrament, Lord God, call this your servant John, your holy illumination, counterworthy this great grace and your holy baptism. Put off from him the old man, and renew him unto everlasting life. Fill him with the power of your Holy Spirit and in union with your Christ, that he may no longer be a child of the body, but a child of your kingdom. We give pleasure and grace to the young son of whom you are blessed, together with your own holy and life, human spirit, now and forever, in the ages of ages. Glory to you, O God, who glory to you, may Christ our true God, who accepted baptism in the river Jordan by John for our salvation, through the prayers and intercessions of his pure and blameless mother, the power that Christ's life to the cross, the protection of all his powers of heaven, the supplications of John the Baptist, and through the prayers and intercessions of St. John the Evangelist and of all the saints, have mercy upon us and save us as your beloved God. Through the prayers of the Holy Father, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy upon us and save us. Amen. Let's go into the church now. <laughs> 